Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another edition of Victory Insight. I want to spend just a moment of your time this morning, and I want to talk about a subject that's deep in my heart. The Bible signifies this fact. Historians can signify this fact. And for all who love the Lord, you can signify this one fact. The news yesterday said something that was pretty disturbing to me. And it says that the Republicans all throughout the country are coming together and blocking Americans of color's ability to vote. That's going to make it easier for them to win. And as I thought about that, I thought about looking back in the history books. And I thought about what just happened in this past election. Today, I want to talk about we defy the odds. And it's so true, my brothers and sisters, we defy the odds. We always have. And we always will. Even though they have done this, what it's going to do, it's going to make people of color stronger. It's going to make people of color come together more. It's going to make sure that people of color next time, just like last time, come out to vote. What happened last time? We defied the odds, my brothers and sisters. We defied the odds. And we got the satanic forces that were aligned against us defeated. We continue to defy the odds. Prior to this last presidential election, we defied the odds. The first African-American president. And just recently, we defied the odds again. Joseph Biden, president of the United States. We continue to defy the odds. And let me tell you, satanic forces will always be there. They have always been there. And they will always be there seeking whom they may destroy. But as I said, my brothers and sisters, last week, God has anointed our heads with oil. Look what we've just come through. This pandemic, all that we've been through over the last two years, over the last six years, we have been through a living hell. We have walked through the shadow of the valley of death. But God has placed a hedge around us and we have defied the odds. America is coming back. We're building back better. And we will continue to. You know what? History has solidified that one fact. Abraham defied the odds when they stole his brother Lot and he went after him and defeated kings. He didn't have great armies. He had hundreds and defeated kings of thousands. Joseph, the dreamer, he continued to defy the odds. He didn't look back and say, oh, I can't do this. He had a dream and he continued to march and focus on his dreams. And as a result, his dreams came true. He defied the odds. When his brothers found out who he was, they were like, wow, that dream really did come true. We are bowing to him as he said in that dream. God continues to place Powers in our hands 
power is in our minds. He continues to bless and anoint his people. We continue to defy the odds. When I look at the Israelites and how far they came through slavery, 400 years. When I look at African Americans and look how far we've come. 400 years of slavery and degradation. Now some of the most respected people in the world. We defy the odds. We continue to. And our enemies continue to throw arrows and stones. And we continue to win. We continue to be more than kings and queens. We are the children of God. What more would you expect? If you're a child of God, you too defy the odds. How do you do that? You continue to lean not toward the ways of the world, but you continue to lean toward the ways of his word. You continue to go down on your knees at night and pray. And when you get up in the morning and pray, you continue to give them honor and praises. When praises go up, victories astound the enemies. David said it best, how dare you curse the armies of the living God. And that's what they do when they attempt to destroy us. When they attempt to defeat us. No weapon formed against a child of God can nor will ever prosper. We've got to remember that. We've got to be diligent in our seeking to lift one another up. We've got to be diligent in our coming together. In the weeks and months and years to come, we must come together. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You hear me? I said for all. This country was built in God we trust, not man. The reason we defy the odds, my brothers and sisters, we continue to call upon the Lord. And he continues to hear our cry. And he continues to bless us. He continues to take us places we never thought we could go. We are the miracle that we read about in the word of God. We are the greatness that we continue to read about and see. We are God in action. When we hold hands, when we take stands, we are God in action. Because God is in action in and through his people. We will continue to astound the world because we will continue to lift our one God who can do anything but fail. We defy the odds. We will continue to defy the odds. We will continue to win. We will continue to keep the victory in sight for we are the children of God. We, you and I, defy the odds. Let us pray. Father God, as we come this morning, we thank you for continuing to lift your people who are called by your name. Father, we thank you for walking with us and talking with us. We thank you, Father, for helping us to defy the odds for overcoming sickness we ask that you touch, that you heal someone right now within the sound of my voice has a cancer, a disease, an affliction. We ask that you heal, that you deliver right now in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. Father, you who have all power in the palm of your hands, we ask that you heal, that you deliver, that you help us to defy the enemies who seek to destroy your people. Father, we shall be ever so grateful. We shall continue to give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise for you and you alone are worthy to be praised. We ask this right now in your son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ's holy name, and together 
your people who are called by your name, claim it with an amen. Amen. And amen. Remember, we defy the odds. Know that. Claim that. Until next time, my brothers and sisters, keep the victory in sight.